Alright, you're watching the Fab Show with the fabulous FFR. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Today, as usual, I'll be bringing to you real life, like mothers of the heart straight from my heart and today all I want to talk about is underdog now I'm sure you're wondering what does underdog mean am I talking about underdog chihuahua I don't know stay tuned and listen to the voice over and I'll be right back <laughs> okay today on the fab show I will be discussing underdog you know that one person you never thought would reach the height of success or maybe that situation that everyone had given up on e.g. when David was about to fight Goliath yeah <laughs> I'm sure you get the drift right stay tuned to understand better the fab show we'll be right back you're watching the fab show all right, welcome back. You're watching The Fab Show with me, F. Fire. Now, through the voiceover, I'm sure you understand what underdog means. I'm sure when I said underdog, some people feel like I'm saying under, whoop, whoop. No. Underdog means a person in a society that has a little chance of winning in life. Now, I'm sure at some point in our life, actually on the road to success, you are definitely going to be let me be more realistic with this imagine you had to work at a place and then you have someone that you have to learn from or someone that has to train you and during the process of your training you know they don't teach you what they should probably they they bully you or make you feel like you don't know nothing right I'm sure you have been at that point in your life now it might it might necessarily not be work it might be you're older than of your friend and then probably because of situation you know your friend has to help you out but then they always make you feel like oh you're not up to my standard and all that yeah that's an example of an underdog I've once been an under chihuahua but here I am so I'll be giving you tips on how you can cope with those kind of situations first off I will use Cynthia Morgan now this is something that trended on social media recently during the course of this recording and personally I would talk about her because she's like a friend to me now there are two versions of the story she came out with a version and talked about how a former management you know had to strip her of some of the things she was entitled to right and then some members of her management came out and said oh her pride was um, the reason why she had a downfall now if you know Cynthia Morgan Personally, you know that this is not a girl that's even proud. She has that. She doesn't have that at all But you know, it's the same thing like when you're under someone Under a management under work under your friend or you I mean you don't have a choice than to bend because you want something from someone There might actually be times when you get taken for granted, but there's nothing you can do about it Now, how do you survive in this kind of situation first off? You have to understand that you want something you have to understand that you are trying to get something off whoever it is at the ladder and you have to know how to endure right I know some people will say don't take bullshit you have to know how to endure you also have to know how to be patient I think that's the right word be patient being an underdog if you are patient it gives you the free will to be able to understand the game and you just have to play the game like one of my episodes that I said call me a fool and give me what I want now I don't want you to take my word for it okay I have a guest on the show with me I have Nancy Isime now listen to what she has to say about underdog and I'll be right back to do some more talking stay tuned you're watching the Fab Show Hi guys, my name is Nancy Seema. I'm an actor, TV host, executive producer, creator of the Nancy Seema show. Um, listen, so I'm chilling right now on the FF Irish show with my girl, Rachel. Um, so what I think about the other dog is, I always say this, never, you never know who's going to come up tomorrow. You never really um, underestimate anybody because you never really know. Like sometimes you feel like this person is never going to 
make it. But what I'm just here to say is never, ever, ever underestimate anybody. The underdog can be the main person tomorrow. So always support and always love those that you can. Doesn't mean you have to take shit from anybody, you know? But um, I just always say never ever look down on anybody. Never, ever. So thank you very much. And to those of you watching, keep it love to the FFR show with Rachel. Mwah. Thank you. You're watching the Fab Channel. Alright guys, you heard it from Nancy Isime. That's what she thinks. You, it's okay for you to learn and all that, but according to her, don't take no BS. Bullshit. Yes, sir. Like AJ Rose would say. Who's AJ Rose? One girl behind the camera. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. I want you to share your story with me. Has there been any time that you know you had to go through that phase in life where you had to, like, probably take some bullshit because you really didn't have a choice? Drop your comments in the comment section. I'd like to hear from you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. And also, give me some thumbs up. So like every week at next time, it's me at the far saying goodbye. Be free, bye, and rule your world. Goodbye.